What's up everybody? Welcome to the Miniverse. So I've been working on my corrugated steel, you know, the stuff they use for roofings and siding sometimes, and it's pretty much ubiquitous in any post-apocalypse wasteland or terrain. Um, and it's what I've seen a lot of people around the net do using cardboard, I tried it out and it really just looked like crap. So I've been trying to make some little improvements on it and I think I got it down pretty good. So I thought I'd share it with you guys and uh, I'll quote yapping at you and we'll just get right on after it. So the first thing I did was just use some bowl of regular water and this cardboard is just a piece of an Amazon box so it's nothing special. And then I just got, got it wet. Um, I didn't leave it soak very long. I didn't want to soak all of the glue out of it. I just wanted to get it loose and just work that first piece of paper off the one side of it. And while that first piece comes off pretty easily, the second one I found out you have to be a lot more careful with otherwise you pull those corrugations out of it. Kind of accordions out. Um, so I found that the best way to do it was to put most of the pressure parallel with the corrugations instead of perpendicular to it against it. And that seemed to work out a lot, a lot better. And then I just let it dry. And then once it was dry, and I just went to cut it up, and I cut it to about the size and shape I needed. This is for gas lanes, so I wanted to make them kind of small because the scale's a little smaller. And then I just used the old hot stick again, put them around wherever I thought they would look good. You know, put them at different angles, left some big gaps in there and stuff. And the leftovers, of course, I cut up and set them aside for later. Help myself out in the future. And for painting, I started with the black primer. Painted it real good first. And then I hit it with this Krylon iron ore. And I only hit about 80 to 90% of it. I wanted a little bit of that black to show through in there, start that weathering process. So to get them weathered up, I started with this brushed black from Folk Art. It's a really dark metallic. And I used a pretty good size round brush. And I'm just gonna over brush it. And this way I chose that big round brush to get down inside there because I didn't want the over brushing just, just on the ridges. Uh, that glue on there left a really good texture and I'm gonna use that to my advantage the best I can and for the color on the panels I chose three really cheap craft paints a red a green and a yellow and I used that same big round brush I cleaned it and dried it first um, and then I just over brushed with the colors and I tried to hit it at a little bit different angle than I used the brush black with I didn't want it to cover the exact same parts. And the yellow and green, I actually put a couple of different coats. That might be why it turned out better than the red. But I just randomly picked different sections for the different colors. Some of them I left alone. And I don't usually like using my mini paints on terrain, uh, but this rough iron, I have not found a good craft paint that matches it. And I just used the same concept, the overbrushing, um, but I didn't do as much coverage and I didn't put it on there as heavy. And once that was done, I loaded the brush up and I stippled that rough iron on there, here and there, um, mostly around the edges where that steel would have rust. And so for the next layer of weathering, I use this old brown color, same color I use for everything, just the cheap craft brown. And I stipple that on there a little bit, and I did a little bit of dry brushing with it, but mostly just stippling here and there over the rust parts. And this bright orange was actually the last paint step for the weathering. And I just stippled that on there over the brown mostly and then a couple of other spots here and there I uh, made sure not to cover all the brown only about half of it and just put a little bit here and there just for some rusty highlights and final step I mixed up some black wash it's just watered down black paint 
with just a drop of soap in it. And I was pretty careful when I applied it, mostly around the edges. Uh, that cardboard, even with all that paint on it, wanted to soak it up. So I just applied a little bit at a time, a little here and there, let it dry, and then come back around to it and hit it again. And just kind of kept building that up until it, you know, it got that nice weathered look that I was looking for. Alright, so that's what I've got for my uh, corrugated steel for all my wasteland terrain. Uh, it still could use a little bit of work. The red didn't come out very well. I'll keep messing with it and I'll let you guys know. So if you haven't yet, please hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe because I've got some more good videos like this coming out real soon. Hit that bell notification too so you know when they come out. And for you Gaslands fan, yep, those are my gates. So that video on those will be coming out real soon. So you guys make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Yeah, kitty.